Recognize my life, ridicule my fight. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venus, aka Miss Cameroon. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I do this hairstyle. This was sent to me by Janet Collection. You guys know I've been doing natural styles lately. And I've been loving all my natural hair, natural styles. Lace fronts have been kind of, you know, put to rest. But I made a wig with this hair. This is Janet Collection. So you guys, um, if you want to see how I made this crochet wig and see what I use and how I blended it to, you know, to make it look natural and stuff, make sure to keep on watching, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that stuff. So thank you so much. Sorry I'm not dressed up. Um, I just forgot to record earlier. But yes, thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay guys, so to begin, I'm going to be using this hair by Jeanette Collection. Thank you so much for sending me this hair. This is the Afro Motengo Twist Braid in 18 inches and it's going to be in 1B. I advise to, um, for you to use hair that matches your hair color because if you're going to have leave out, you want it to match your color as much as possible so this crochet wig cap um i bought this from my local beauty supply store i believe it was like two like two dollars i think um this is a crochet wig cap with combs it comes with three combs um i absolutely love this so much i'm gonna start buying this a lot more so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the wig cap on top of your mannequin head um, I'm gonna use a crochet needle I bought from my beauty supply store. This was like I think a dollar too. Then I'm gonna use some pins um, and just pin that down. Right here, you can basically make this wig as big as you want or as small as you want because when you use the pins, you kind of like make the wig how big you want. <laughs> I don't know. You can stretch it how you want and then pin it down. So that's basically what I'm doing. So guys, I already have a video on how I do crochet braids. Like I already have so many videos on how I do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pass the crochet needle in the back of your band of your wig cap, of your wig cap. Then you're going to take the hair. And you're going to put that on the hook. Then you're going to close the latch of the crochet needle and then pass it through. After you pass it through, you're going to take the other end of the hair and basically pass it through the loop, if that makes sense. <laughs> but um, like I said, I have like so many videos of how I explain this in more details. I'm going to include them down below so you can go ahead and check that out. So it's pretty easy. Just gonna basically repeat the same steps. I am doing this at the end. Try to pack it on the band so it doesn't show. You know, like if you try to put your hair up, you don't want it, you don't want the black band to show. So I'm basically just putting that at the end so it doesn't show. I do it in the front of my of my head because I don't want the black band in the front to show too. I absolutely love doing this hairstyle because I'm I I just feel like I can take my hair out whenever I want. Um, because sometimes when you do crochet braids on your own head, you're not able to take the hair out, you know, and like basically change the style. So when you take the hair out, you have to like re put it on your head. But when you have a wig, a crochet wig style, it's easier to change your hairstyle. So basically when you get to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and braid my hair back. Well, those are like struggle braids. And then um, leave my leave out. You can actually leave all the way in the front. Like you can leave everything in the front if you want. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna use water and just wet my hair. My, the combs or the, yeah, the combs. And basically apply the wig on my head. As you guys can see, the wig does not match my hair color at all. But when I blend it, it actually is going to match. 
so but make sure that you get a color that matches your hair perfectly so yeah i'm just gonna put like a little line in the middle so i'm gonna section off the hair and i'm basically gonna twist it with um the crochet hair you know what i mean like i'm gonna show you guys what i'm doing i really don't even know how to explain this but i'm basically twisting the hair twisting the crochet hair with my natural hair so it looks like it looks like blended so i'm gonna do that all over I hope that made sense guys I'm really trying to explain this but I'm trying okay so once I'm done I'm going to try to um slim my baby head down so I'm going to use my got to be glue and I'm going to use some black gel so yeah, I basically used those two together. Um, I feel like I didn't really do the best on laying my baby hair down, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, my hair was still popping. But um, that's basically all for this video, guys. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, what else? I'm trying to see if I have anything else to tell y'all. But um, yeah, just have fun with this hair. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you on my next one. And um, subscribe, like, share, comment. And I love you. Love you guys.